Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. I went back to the Dwarf Cave after the Temple of Fiends because this is the last area that we got that has uh, a locked door, and we also want to deliver the TNT to Narek, so do uh, two things at once while we're here. Yay! And this will get us access to the western hemis hemisphere of the world, so we can move on to new adventures. We got a bunch of good treasure here. Cabin, iron helmet, we want that for the, uh, the fighter there. Let's see, dragon sword is the uh, best sword for the thief. Um, actually, I think it's the best sword for him, period, until, uh, yeah, until much later in the game, so it's good to hold on to that for him. Silver knife, a third one. Wooden helmet. Silver armor, that's good for the red mage. So let's get that on him. Five seventy-five gold and another house. All right, those are going to be useful later. Now, um, I, I, at this point, you've probably got a lot of treasure, so I'd recommend going back to Canaria and um, uh, selling your excess equipment, uh, restock on potions if you haven't already, and uh, rest up at the end. And uh, as you can see here, um, I got up to level twelve while I was uh, getting all that treasure. So uh, now, my uh, white mage and your black mage, if you have one. Um, we'll have a level 5 spell charge, which will be useful in the near future. So um, I will meet you back at the port by Canaria to uh, head off to the next town. So I will see you then. Okay, so now we're going to be heading west to uh, the town of Melmond. Uh, an old guy was talking about that late earlier in the game, and they're in trouble. So now we're able to go there. So let's take a look. As you can see, there's a gap here. That's the canal. Now we can get out of the Aldai Sea and make our way to uh, Melmond. There it is. Let's see what these guys have to say. All right. Let's do it. Sarda. Okay, well, there's a lot of caves around here. We'll see which one he's talking about. Yeah, the earth seems to be pretty dry around here. Not doing too good. Thanks for sharing. Okay, well, now we know how to uh, find Sarda. We've got to go through the Titan's Tunnel. Maybe he's talking about the floater. We'll find out. Okay. Well, we can't get there yet because they don't have any ports up there. So, I'll take your word for it. Let's see what these guys have to say. There's no, uh, clinic. Oh, okay, it's a clinic, not a house of healing. Sorry, I forgot a bit. Probably thinking of another game. And, uh, okay, well, we gotta take care of the vampire then, I guess. Let's see, okay. Dr. Oon. Well, you'll want to remember that character for uh, later in the game. He'll be useful, but not right now. Titan loves rubies. Okay. Keep that in mind if I ever run into a titan. The Earth Cave is to the southwest. Okay, so. We got that. Ah, well, there we are. So, the vampire is from the Earth Cave. And we need to stop him to, from stealing the power of the Earth. So, there we are. Okay, so that's our next mission. We're going to go to the Earth Cave. Uh, eventually, that is. There are some other things we want to do here. Um, also, notice there is no item shop here. So, just got to uh, 
be careful for that. So now um, let's check out the uh, what magic shops we got here. Now heal two is a very useful spell. Um, due to a programming error, it actually functions as a heal three spell when cast during battle. Now, uh, normally I don't like to take advantage of programming errors, but since it probably would be as good as a heal three spell if the intelligence stat actually functioned properly, I think it's okay to use it here and take advantage of it. So we're gonna get heal two for the white mage there. Now also, um, Let's see, now as far as harm 3 goes, um, I don't really like the harm spells for the rest of the game, really. Uh, harm 2 is really good enough to take out most of the undead monsters that can stun you with their physical attacks, and higher level harm spells are usually overkill. And they also take up uh, valuable spell charges if you actually use them, because uh, there's a lot of really good stuff on this spell level, so we're going to pass on uh, harm 3. I would get cure 3 though, because, you know, if a party member is hit really hard by an enemy, you know, you want to be able to heal them up pretty fast, so uh, we're going to get cure 3 there. And then you also want to get the life spell as well. It's the only way that you can revive party members in the field in this version of the game, so that's a very good spell. Um, eventually, the red mage will also want cure 3 in life, but, uh, um, he doesn't have the spell charges, and anyway, you can't learn life until uh, much later in the game anyway. So, that's it for that area. Now for the black magic shop. By contrast, the black magic isn't so great for this level. Um, now, black mage, if you have one, you want to get fire three. Uh, same thing for the red mage, but obviously he doesn't have the spell charges yet. Now, Bane is actually probably the most useful of the instant kill spells in the game. There's quite a wide variety of them, but um, it's still too random for my taste. I wouldn't waste a spell charge on it. Uh, now, Warp can save you time by, well, warping you back a floor. Um, but I would always, like, if you're on the third floor, it'll take you back to the second floor, whatever staircase it was. But uh, I would always prefer to take the long way by foot, really. I mean, you want to fight the monsters for the experience, so you don't have to stop and take time for grinding for levels. Um, now, I've heard Slow 2 is actually useful in the Dawn of Souls version of the game, but here, it's downright useless. So, we're going to pass on all the black magic for now. A weapon shop, all those weapons are weaker than what you already have now, so we're just going to pass on that. Now, uh, you already have all these. Uh, if you have mul multiple characters that are like a thief, white mage, or black mage that don't have a silver bracelet, this is where you get them. Steel armor, I mean, it's better than, what, than the, than the uh, iron armor that the fighter has right now. But uh, it's just way too expensive for what you get out of it. I mean, if I have so much gold that I don't know what to do with it, then, okay, I might splurge on it, you know. Because, I mean, it is better, but I'm, I might get it later, but not right now. So we're just going to pass on that for today. Okay, so that's everything we can do here in Melmond. Um, as for um, what we do next, um, technically the game directs you to go to uh, the Earth Cave, but I want to go to another town, Crescent Lake, because uh, there's some good armor there and uh, there's some really good and in useful information there that'll tell you uh, what you need to do about your quest and reviving the power of the orbs and other stuff. And The game never really seems to direct you to go there anyway, it's just kind of exploring really. So. Um, we're going to go there next, but I'm out of time for today, so um, that's all for today's episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.